get out of here. All right, so let's move on to question number two. Um, okay, I've noticed that I personally think all men cheat. I mean, you know, but people always like to say if Keista was here, Keista would say, all men don't cheat. <laughs> so if all men don't cheat and good men, quote unquote, are like husbands, like they're already like taken up because those are the good men, you know, um, are we going to have to start becoming sister wives? Meaning like, are we going to have to like start sharing men? Because I, I, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm so serious because I mean, you know, like I, I've been dating. I've, I've been conversing rather, conversing. And a lot of single men, which they're not single, a lot of men are married, but they're portraying to be single. So wives, your husbands are cheating, okay? <laughs> they're cheating. And I like your husbands. <laughs> like, they're awesome men before I know that they are your husband. So I'm like, are we going to be sharing this guy? <laughs> like, because I mean, it's just crazy because like the single guys that I bump into or meet or whatever, they're like, you know, like that's they're sending dick pictures in your inbox. Like you even ask for them, you know? But uh, yeah, so I just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, if all men don't cheat, then the good guys are usually married. So are we going to have to start sharing married men? Well, I, let me put start with, start with the all men don't cheat. Do you believe that? I, I mean, I don't believe all men cheat. That being said, I do believe all men ain't shit, but <laughs> But I don't think that all men, I don't think all men cheat. Um, but I'm not sharing nobody. I, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't be okay with that. I just can't, I can't be okay with that. So, but like, I do think that like most of the good men out there are already married. They're already taken. If they're not married, they've been in a relationship for a long, long time with someone who's just the light of their world and everything else like that. And they're they not leaving her. Crush. I had a, whoo. <laughs> but um, I just, I don't think we have to start sharing. You know what I think it is? What? I think it's because a lot of people are like you who don't want to go outside their preference. Oh, I'm beautiful. Girl, please. Do you know how much I have changed? Okay, first off, let's go. Okay, would I give you too much? Saying, what two, three episodes ago, you said that you no, no, no. do not no, I'm want about, to, I'm about to say, okay. okay, let me let me tell you about how I change our the list. Usually, when you say when you say preference, they uh got we usually say the list that we have. Like, how you got this, 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 this right? No, I, I'm not talking about necessarily the list because if okay. we're talking about qualities, you can find qualities in any type of guy. I'm talking about preference. Because there are people like you who will have every mar <laughs> every box on their mar every <laughs> everything on their list checked off for a guy, but because he is not black, they're going to say no. So I knew so you. So when I'm not talking about like when I say preference, I mean the type of guy. Like there are some people who only like muscular guys. You know, guys who go to the gym who are gym rats. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And they won't date like a real skinny guy or a real, real heavy guy or something like that. And okay. they won't go outside of that. But they can't find anybody or like they have to share him and stuff like that. But that's low key on them because they won't go outside their preference. I don't think we necessarily are at a point where we have to share men. I just think women need to start being more open minded. Okay, this, okay. <sighs> First off, I would like to say this is a disclaimer. <laughs> you what? A disclaimer. I would like to okay. say okay. that if the world don't open up, <laughs> meaning this virus shit ain't over with in 2021, by the time I turn 36, I am just going to hire a professional matchmaker and give her my list 
<laughs> give her my list. And then let her do the work while I'm just sitting over here, you know, working, you know. And then she can call me and then I, she'll say, Ashley, I got 10 candidates. I'm like, girl, narrow it down to five. You know what to do. So that's when we go with the, do he has to be black? <sighs> he need to have something, a little, a little drop in there, you know. So we, you know, does, does he have to be, does he have to be? No, but I'm just saying, what I'm saying is she went on my list. She got 10, but I say, I'm not doing, I'm not dating 10 people. I, I don't want to have a conversation with, narrow it down to five, you know? And so that's what she's, of course, going to have to come to me and say, okay, well, in order for us to get it from 10 to five, we got to do this, 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 this. I'm willing to compromise some things. Like I've compromised so much stuff already. Like what the fuck? Like I might as well just go ahead and get with the dude that ride the bicycle. I mean- He's a great guy. He loves his mom. He don't have no kids. Um, he loves his dog. Uh, he's 35 and older. Um, he had never been locked up before. Uh, he graduated high school. Like, <laughs> what? I mean, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just, what? I mean, is the person on the bicycle black? Of course they're black. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, okay, so even I can admit that there's something that, because like I said, I will I will give anything a chance for the the trying not to block myself from my you know soulmate or whatever you know. Right. I will give anything a chance. However, when I do look at men or when I visualize like the type of man that I want. I have a certain look about him, right? Okay. When I when I imagine that. And I need to get out of that because you know that that comes in the factor when people who I don't necessarily, you know, look at come into play. So okay. I can admit that. And I'm making it a point. I can't, sorry, I'm trying to get this thing off my screen. I'm gonna make it a point in the future whenever somebody decides that they want my ass. To you know, try to get that visualization out. Now, am I going to make sure that I am going to be talking to someone that I am at least a little bit attracted to, or at least can find attractiveness in them? Yes. Um, I used to be like the type of person to be like, uh, you could date people who you're not attracted to. You just gotta get to know what's in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean but that's Necessary. That's kind of true, though, because you, you, is, are, you, true, you put them but, in the friend zone, right? So, and then, and so, but I am I have been becoming this type of person where I have to be, at least find some attractiveness in you somewhere. Like, oh, he got some real pretty eyes, <laughs> but he got some pretty eyes. You know what I mean? But like when I imagine like who I want to like, uh, uh, not a perfect guy, but a guy that I think that would look nice beside me, I do have a specific image in my head, but I need to get rid of that. I mean, okay. But see, the thing is about me is I don't have a race with my image. <laughs> this is, this is, okay, I'm about to say this. Like I was, you know, cause with COVID and everything and social distancing, you can't really go, you're not supposed to go out because the numbers are going up, uh, whatever. Right. Okay, so I'm on this this app thing or whatever. And uh, people outside my race, even though I said brothers, you know, black men, you know, I've had, um, I've had a, uh, he was Puerto Rican. Um, I had a Puerto Rican guy message me. He was from Florida. And then um, I've had a couple Caucasian guys, um, but they were older. Um, and then they were freaky, freaky. Like I, I like changed my diaper freaky. I, I ain't with all that shit. Uh, and then I had one older guy. He was like, he kind of, I don't know. It felt like he was pandering me because he was like, he was like uh, the typical white guy uh brown hair blue eyes or whatever and he was like um but I sing at a black church and I go to a black church he didn't need to tell me that he didn't even tell me that you know so I reply back to him because I'm I'm also thinking older I think I'm gonna go older I think I want 40 and up now um because I'm serious I'm, I'm sorry I've had an experience with a 45 year old 
you know. Um, I want 40 and up because I feel like they should be already established. Um, just let me bring you these cute little chubby babies, you know. Everything else should be, you should be taken care of. Like you should already have, I shouldn't have to, I don't, I don't feel like I should have to raise nobody. Like I shouldn't have to be like, so um, you, you just, so you're going to be a delivery driver all your life? Like, I mean, no offense to delivery drivers, but isn't that like a, a, a age limit? Like, like you shouldn't be in drive through all your life. Like you should have like goals, accomplishments and stuff. Like you should be reaching for it. And then you can't take care of a family with that source of income you know and my thing is like i said i don't want to be a sugar mama don't count my income let's focus on yours you know um but i asked him i said i said have you ever talked to a black person before you know and he was like um no but i'm willing to give you a a, a shot or a, a chance and i'm like I don't want to be your token. Like, I don't want to be your first experience. No, and I, I agree with that. I wouldn't want that either. Yeah, I don't want to be your first experience. So, but like I said, I have, I'm, I'm real, I'm confused about this. All men don't cheat thing because I have been meeting a lot of men that are in relationships that say that they are attached. And honestly, I respect those men. I respect those men so much because they are giving me the opportunity to choose which side dish I would prefer to be, you know? I can either be coleslaw, or baked potato, preferably I prefer loaded. I want bacon, sour cream, chives, you know, I want all that, you know? But the guys who just take my rights away and just automatically make me a side chick, I hate that. I hate that. So all the men, even though I'm single, all the men that I've been dealing with are talking to, conversing with rather, they've been in relationships. So I'm like, that's what made me come up with the, we're probably going to have to end up start sharing guys. Good guys. Well, see, you know what? I will say a lot of married men be in my inbox more than single men. That's for sure. So you would think. Like, is it on their profile like married or do you have to do the research? Like they are full out posting their families or <clears throat> if they don't have kids, um, if, if they don't have kids, they're, uh, you know, posting their wife and everything, like, and I mean, like, full out, like, this is the light of my life, like, this is my world, I don't know if I could ever go on without this woman in my life, she has been such a pinnacle, this, you know, like, like, I mean, full out doing that, but yet are in my inbox. So, and I mean, and they're not in, in my inbox like, oh, hey, like that was, that was a cute picture or, you know, hey, I ain't seen in a while. I mean, like, they're like, let me fly you out. Let me take you out. Let me do da, 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 da. So, I mean, you would think that I would be one of the type of people who like, oh man, she, I don't believe that. But I will say there are a lot of married men. For those who are watching, maybe some married men that you know <laughs> that are in my inbox that I'm just like. Listen, I've had a guy who he been trying. He he been trying for a little while, but I feel like I'm a fetish for him, um, like a a, a BBW fetish or whatever. Because he's so small, he's like so small, like teeny. I mean, like skinny and in short. You know, uh, I'm just like, boy, you're not about to get me caught up on some charges or whatever. Like, but the thing about it, what pissed me off is the fact that he. I know you don't cheat, Stefan. Do you know him and his girlfriend are in a profile picture together? And he still came to my damn inbox. I done got some profile picture together. I done got some of those too. And then when you bring it up, they'd be like, you worry about the wrong thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This guy, if he's watching, he's probably going to know. Well, then again, they all say this. Well, he said it, but it was funny to me. Um, I was like, I told him, I said, um, cause I didn't want to say, oh no, you're too skinny for me. Oh no, you got a girl. Like I did mention about, so your girl, you know? Um, but I was like, I don't talk to, um, Marion County or the surrounding areas. He said, well, between me and you, let's just say I'm not from here. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. I was like, you are so stupid. Like, come on, bro. Like, really? And so I was like, that's the type of shit that like, I'm like, like you said with the penis thing, like do women go for that? Like you see that he has a girl and you still talk to the guy or is it like you like, oh my God, he, he 
he's talking to me. Like, I am not that pressed for no conversation. Trust me. I am, but I ain't going that low. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not pressed for that. Like, <sighs> um, I just, I just, I, I don't like the idea of having to sneak around. You know what I mean? Right. I don't like the idea of not being replied to because you're with your wife. <laughs> Well, see, the thing, okay, you, you couldn't, you couldn't be a side chick. Like, just from what I know of you, you couldn't, because you like a lot of attention, because you need attention, like, you, you, first, you, I couldn't deal with you, like, if I was a guy, I I couldn't deal with you, because you would want so much, but I I feel like you probably, like, romantic attention, though, you probably, like, babe, you know, like, cuddle, like, touchy feeling, you know, PDA and stuff like that, like, you couldn't be a side chick. So exactly you, you would get you would get demoted. Like he would like have to like put you in timeout and stuff. And he'd be like, listen, this was the rules. You agreed to this and this, and you're not do- exactly you like you probably be the type to where you would catch feelings. But like, even if you try to do like a friends with benefits type of situation, you will fall quicker, you know. Um <laughs> you, and you know what I just thought about. <laughs> Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so like you were saying, um, I couldn't be a side chick just because I just don't like the thought of having to, right. to separate my time or split my time, uh, like you said, but you're right. When you were talking about how I need attention, that is spot on. That is spot on. Like, I don't need, like the type of attention I need is not like you talking to me 24 hours a day. The type of attention I need is I need like, like you said, romantic attention, like, I want you to cuddle with me. I right. want, you know, when we're, we're in together, I want you to touch me. I like that PDA stuff. Like, I want to cuddle. Like, like when I walk past the kitchen or like when you're in the kitchen, I walk past you, you need to be slapping my butt or else I'm going to feel like you don't love me. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, well, I, I don't you right. want me anymore. <laughs> I t- I, I'll say this right here. Um, I think I would be a great side chick. <laughs> <laughs> I would um but the thing is I probably a guy probably wouldn't want me to be his side chick because he's not going to be the only person I'm talking to and so guys like that usually have an issue with that they're like no you're mine like no I'm not yours your wife is yours or your girl your main girlfriend is yours I'm just here as a you know uh, an accessory I would be an accessory you know um but I think I would be a great side chick. Um, not saying that I'm, I'm advertising. <laughs> Don't send no more unsolicited dick pictures, you know. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, for my personality or who I am, I, I know that I would be a great side chick. Um, you know, uh, I probably, but he would probably, like, want to promote me because, like, I'm so, like, cool and stuff, whatever. And uh, I, I'll probably be like, oh, your wife is cute. Thing. And, uh, you know, let's, I ordered her something offline. Like, I, maybe you should get it. Like, reimburse me. Like, I'm just, like, you know, but at the point that I'm at in my life right now, I don't want to be that. But that's why I, I came up with the I'll be cheat and ain't shit. And um, are we going to have to start sharing these good men? Because I'm willing to converse with someone that is not my same ethnicity. But I start having panic attacks because I'm like, what are we going to talk about? Do he know who uh three six mafia is? Oh my god, does he oh <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know that sounds so ignorant, but it it's is. true. It but is. it's true, like, but he's probably gonna be like, Oh my god, does she know who Garth Brooks is? You know, like some shit like that, Shania Twain or something like and I do, you know. But um yeah. I, I don't I don't know. But you know what? If I was a side chick, if I was lonely enough to be like, okay, fuck it, I'll be a side chick, right. I wouldn't catch feelings then. Because you're already dealing with somebody else, so I'm already detached. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and in your head, you got, like, I already know what this is. Right. But if it's a friends with benefits, back to what you were just saying, yes, mm-hmm. that that's an, that's what, that would be an issue for me. But if you want to go ahead and move on to the next subject. <laughs> All right, so that wraps that up. Okay, so let's go to question number three, oh, which is, um, we do have comments. It's from okay. Stefan. Um, he said, that's right, girl, preach. I'm not sure which part that was on um 
he said, and those men disgust me. He said, I don't cheat. There was a married woman that wouldn't stop flirting with me. Being a side dude, I hear being a side dude I hear is easy. You get some love and get free stuff and they don't nag you. The dude basically winning. I mean, you can say about a side woman too. Oh, they oh for sure. Uh, and then side side girls, side chicks, they get way more gifts. Like they get like it probably might be more sexual stuff, you know, like lingerie, you know, because you want to see her with that. And then, of course, like other little trinkets, like bags and hair. Oh, I feel yeah. like when side chicks get gifts, that's like a form of a, a payment, a payment, but not like for sex, but like to keep you quiet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Like, let me keep my side chick happy and buy her all this stuff so she don't get off her rocket one day and decide to call my wife up. I mean, and, and you know, behind the scenes you know i was contemplating my prices <laughs> my hush hush money you know like i just want i just want to be a bomb and just blow shit up you know but i'm, I'm trying to be a lady because i learned well we, that's a whole nother topic all right let's go to question number 